Hi, in this tutorial we're going to address the situation of savings plans. Um, a savings plan is any time you set up a system whereby you're going to save money on a regular basis, maybe every month or every year, in order to reach some savings goal in the future. You know, for instance, maybe you want to buy a house and you want to save money for the down payment, or maybe you want to save and buy a car, or take a trip, maybe you want to retire, put your kids through college. Um, so I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you would set up a problem like this and figure out the amount you need to save each month or each year in order to reach a future savings goal. So in this example we're going to start with you and you're at work and your boss is talking about how she wants to put her th kids through college and hopes they don't have to take loans etc cetera, etc cetera. and she's got two kids they're going to go to school in 15 years and she thinks she's going to need about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if she wants to put her kids through school we're going to assume that she can earn 8% interest on her savings. So we're going to start up here with our savings goal, $250,000. That's how much she wants to have at the end of 15 years. 8% is our interest rate. 15 years is the number of years we have. We're going to go about this using two different methods. We're going to use Excel's payment function, and when we're done with that, I'm going to show you how to use the goal seek function. So now that I've got all of my value drivers, I didn't want it to paste, I wanted it to be bold. Okay, now that I've got all of my value drivers up here in the corner, we're going to start with calculating the payment. So payment, as we saw earlier, can calculate for us the payment on a loan. Well, it, we can use it the same way to figure out what we would need to save per period at a given interest rate in order to have a certain amount of money in the future. So to do this, we only have to change a couple of things, right? We enter payment and we get rate. Our rate is the interest rate and it's the same, right? And that's no different than if we were calculating a loan payment. The number of periods in this example, years, it's no different. However, when we get to present value, our present value is the value we have today. We don't have any money today, right? Present value is zero. We're going to leave that empty. Future value is the amount we want to have in the future, so that's where we enter our savings goal. So that our annual deposit comes out as a positive number, I'm going to click negative 250,000. And since with savings plans, we're going to assume, at least in this example, and you will for your homework, that you start saving today, we're going to enter 1 for our annuity so that it knows that it's an annuity that starts, or a savings plan that starts at the beginning of the year. So Excel tells us that we are going to have to save $8,525.36 per year in order to have $250,000 at the end of 15 years. Let's set up a table that shows how this works. We're going to start off with a bank balance of zero. Right? We open our bank account, there's no money in it, but we're going to put in a deposit. We're going to put in our deposit of $8,525.36. We give it an absolute reference because it's the same deposit from year to year. Which means that after we've made that deposit, we have the balance that we started with plus our deposit in the account. Since that money's in there at the very beginning of the year, we're going to have that money earning interest for us all year. So the balance with interest at the end of the year is going to be equal to the total account balance at the beginning of the year multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate. If I give my interest rate an absolute reference, that'll help me when I go later to pull down my formula. So at the end of the year, I'm going to have $9,207, or your boss is, I guess. That $9,207 becomes the following year's balance. I can carry this down in two steps. First, I highlight those three, and I pull them down one row. Then I highlight all four. and I double click that corner and it fills in my table. And if everything is right up here and where we calculated the payment, we should see that we have $250,000 at the end of 15th year. Right, that's great. Sometimes, however, you might have a certain amount of money you'd like to have in mind or and you just might want to backtrack. All right, what if I change this number to be 500,000. What if I want that number to be different, right? Goal Seek is just another tool to allow you to get to the deposit now that we've set up this table or this chart. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear out the references in this column. Bear with me. And instead, I'm going to tell us that this cell equals that input with an absolute reference. And I'm going to bring it down. And let's see how well this works. So let's just say we're saying to ourselves, your boss says, well, if I save 3000 a year, will that get me to my savings goal? Because all I had changed were these inputs, the rest of my table just comes back. And I can see, well, no, 3000 a year won't get me to my savings goal. 3000 per year will get me to 87000 So you can use this sort of trial and error approach to try to get yourself up to 250000 Goal seek basically tells us if we want to set this number to 250,000, what deposit do you need to be? What input will you need to have? So we can do it this way. Goal seek is under tools. There it is, goal seek. So when goal seek comes up, we have set cell to value by changing cell. We need three entries and our value here has to be entered as a number. So starting off, I realize that I want to set this cell to 250,000 by changing the amount in that cell because that cell drives these deposits. It tells me, gives me the same answer that I had using the payment function, which is that in order to have $250,000, I need to deposit $825,000, I mean $8,525.36 per year. And that will explain how to save a certain sum of money with a savings plan, and that's how you calculate how much you need to save in a given period in order to reach a savings goal.